Please. Yeah, sir. Oh, thanks. Can you sign this, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's your name? Mark. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. I've got a meeting with the directors tomorrow. I reckon I'm out. What makes you think that? When was the last time we won a game? Well, they should spend some money, like Clint Simon over at Saints, shouldn't they? Oh, come on, Rod. The Saints got lucky. No, oh, Big Rock Star takes them over as his hobby. How often does that happen? He's done a good job since he took over as chairman. I mean, how many other third division clubs make the quarter funds of the FA Cup? Well, he spent money. Yeah. All right, you'll see you Monday. Yeah, okay then. Hello, Georgie. Yeah, be lucky. Give you a lift? Yeah. No, I don't want to go home. Feel like getting pissed. Good night. Good night, Matt. Good night, Matt. Good night, lads. Papers say so. He's right, you know. Listen, Rod's the best. Always has been, always will be. He had a bad patch, that's all. Happens to everybody, doesn't it? Hello, Dan. 
Hello, Rod, old boy. Hello, Rod. Hi. Hello, Hi. Hi. How's it going? Not too bad. How's yourself? Oh, not bad. Not good. Yes, yeah, so five pints and a half of scotch. Um, look, Rod, I wouldn't mention it myself. You know it's not up to me. I got the word before we opened today. I can't give you anything more on the tab. No. I'm sorry. Oh, in that case, make it five pints and I'll have a large scotch. Keep the change. Right. Yeah. Three here, two to Well, hello, oh, well, oh, well done. Oh, you got him in. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Good night, Roddy. Oh, I was right. Yeah, it's the old elbow. Finish the season, then bye bye. I'm sorry, Mac. Yeah, man. Thanks, Rita. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm not going to hang around waiting for you next. Georgie Moore's in town from America. Georgie Moore? Oh, yeah, yeah. You used to be teammates, didn't you? That's right. He's looking to sign some new players. Football's really taking off over there. Yeah, so I hear. And then have a drink with him. Nice work if you can get it. I can get it. Let me find them. You can never work out what you did with all that money you made. Oh, it went, didn't it? When you first get the tax man, and the women, and then the hangers on, and throwing the cars and the clothes and the money. And... <laughs> Since when have you changed? I haven't. Look at it. Cut down on the booze, you'd be a damn sight better player. In the garden we play with. Thanks, man. Yeah. Take care, Rossi. Oh, 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 Remember that, Sasha. Right, go, on, go on, join in. You know I can't play football. Come on, join the club, son. Come on, join the club. Come on, give me that ball. Oi, come here. Give me that ball. And get your clothes off. You, Hey, that's Ingrid and Katrina. Now, she God. was a lovely girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm throwing them away. Yeah? Oh, why? You'll be moving soon and you won't want all this junk. Moving? Moving where? Out of this dumping in with me, of course. Oh, I don't remember discussing moving. I thought you'd like the idea. I mean, my place is so much nicer than this rat trap. Can't you see that? Yes, well, uh... Oh, listen, Susan, you're a nice girl, and uh, we see each other twice a week. We go to bed twice a week. So we go to bed twice a week. Doesn't mean to say we're moving in together. Look, I don't want to discuss this now. Neither do I. You've got a hangover. I'll phone you tomorrow.
It's the one thing I'm tired of thinking of. I've heard enough of the meaning of love. It don't mean a thing when you lose. I learn how to play and there's nothing to say but goodbye to my rainy days. I'm out of love with love. I like your hat. <laughs> Sorry to stop the song in mid-flow, but I've just had a great piece of news. The Saints have done it. <laughs> One more. We're on our way to Wembley. Come on, you were great.
say you're back. I've tried to phone you all week. Where have you been? Rod, are you listening to me? No, I'm listening. Oh, I should have known you'd walk in drunk. You're very lucky that I uh, didn't walk in with another girl. I don't know why I bother with you. Mm. Discussed all this last week. Hmm? Don't you want me to stay? I want you to do whatever you want to do. I mean, oh yeah, I can just get the last five minutes of sports now. Oh Rod. Now a report to quarterfinal. I'm with so you need giant killers. No doubt about it. But since this third division team was taken over by Clint Simon, they haven't put a foot wrong. Jake Marsh has masterminded their almost unbelievable ascent. And today they prove yet again that they are winners all the way with the victory over Birmingham Rovers. This win, of course, puts them in the FA semi-final. The only black spot for Clint Simon and Saints today was striker John Snatcher getting himself badly injured in a crash with Jeff Lawton. Oh, oh, That's not been confirmed yet. Just... Let's forget about football just this once. Mm -hmm. So, with Snatcher's leg broken, there's no way he's going to be playing in the semi-final. I've searched around for players. I've put a lot of feelers out. Might get one in a hurry, but nothing. They don't want to know about coming down from the first division to a third division club. I don't mind paying, Jake. It's not money, Flint. We need a good striker, fast. We're in a bad position. What about O'Donoghue? No. No, he's not good enough to bring out of the reserves yet. They shit his pants. And we've got to find ourselves a really good, experienced player. I had an idea. What? It's a little offbeat. But I think it might work. Well, your ideas have done pretty well for the club up till now. Rod Turner. <laughs> what? He was the best bloody striker in the business. When I was a kid, I never missed a game every Saturday. He was magic. I don't believe this. Rod Turner? That man's a drunk, for God's sake. As I has been. I told you it was an offbeat idea. But I just got a feeling. The guy who played like Rod did, it's still gonna be in there somewhere. And you could bring it out, Jake. Old, slow, drunk. All right, let's see him play. Old, slow, drunk. Look how heavy he is on his feet. That guy used to run like a panther. All right, so he's not at his best. We didn't expect him to be. He stinks. Didn't you play together one season? One season was enough. He was always a big-headed bastard. Yeah, but you could get him together, Jake. With training and discipline, you could have him back but in you shape. You've made your mind up, haven't you? I think it'll work. All right, you're the boss. Look, you know how I feel about it. The guy is a loser. Look, I'm going to go around and talk to him after the game. Do you want to come? Oh, I'll pass. here with Jake Marsh yeah. and a couple of directors from the Saints. What do you think they want? Well, maybe they want to buy the club. Yeah, you think so? Well, what does money mean to someone like Clint Simon? Some people collect stamps. Maybe he collects football clubs. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk, Rod. Yeah, what about? I have a proposition for you. Something of mutual interest. Uh, can we go for a drink? I've got a drink. No, thanks. I want a kiss, autograph? No. I want to buy you for the Saints. <laughs> You're joking. 
Never more serious. Oh, 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 <laughs> Look, Rod. I love football. And I've done a bloody good job with this. I didn't buy it as a tax loss, you know. Oh, why did you buy them? To win. I'm involved with the club on every level. In between making records. Come on, Rod. I'm making you an offer you should jump at. I gave up jumping a long time ago. Look, I've got a recording session in Paris tomorrow. Why don't you come along for the ride? I'll send a car for you. Will you come? I'll think about it. Time to get tarted up to meet Georgie. Uh, what about Paris tomorrow? You going? Absolutely. Better sit around here, isn't it? Tomorrow. We go around, see Marek and the boy at the club here and take half a half an hour's practice. Oh, come on, Rod. I promised the wife I'd take her out. One day, Mike. Please, you know how much they look forward to it. Uh, Mr. Turner, to see Mr. Moore, please. Mr. Turner for you, sir. One one six. One one six, thank you. Candy. Come might even get him to uh, come back, wouldn't you? You like it. <laughs> Whatever turns you on. Yeah, and uh, what? Yeah, hang on, Marvin, the other phone. George. <laughs> <laughs> the very same. Well, who'd you expect, the president? Baby, it's been too long. Come on, hustle your ass. Get the man a drink. Uh, yeah, yeah. A drink? Yeah, George. Marvin. With? Without. <laughs> OK, listen. Um, well, listen, I'll get back to you. Yeah? I'll phone you tomorrow. <laughs> well, you gotta do something to keep warm. Okay, ciao, baby, ciao. <sighs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, you look uh, really great. No, I mean, no kidding, you know. I mean, you do look great. You look as if things are going your way. You know, moving to America was the best friggin' thing I ever did. I was, um, I was thinking of going to the States myself. You know, if you were only ten years younger, I could offer you the Empire State Building, but you know what I mean? We're after young players. Yeah. Then I'll do. I could check with one of the coast teams, see if they need a coach. Coach? You're kidding. Okay, so, you're, I mean, you were a big star over here. Over there? They haven't even heard of you. So you want me to ask you to forget it? No. No, no, no. Find out what's happening. I could do with a change anyway. Well, you'll have to excuse uh, Candy and me. We're getting all set for a little private conference. Yeah. Ah, maybe I'll get back to you later. Yeah, that might be difficult, because I'm supposed to go to Paris with Clint Simon tomorrow. Clint Simon? Really? You know Clint Simon? It's been a sign for the Saints. That's a lot of money. I'm just... Uh, just not sure. I mean, I've my mind up here. Mm -hmm. It can't be bad. I'll call you Monday, then. Mm. Yeah, do that. Candy, thank you for the drink. Hey, Cloudy. Yeah? What is it with you today? You seem as nervous as a cat. I'm fine. Why? You seem very jumpy. Oh, I don't know. Where is this footballer of yours? He'll be here. I hate waiting around. Why'd you ask him anyway? Because I want to get to know him. Here's a guy who was the absolute best. You should see him now. He looks like an old man. He does? Yeah, Jake says he's a drunk. But Jesus, Cloudy, this guy was my god. I just know he can do it for us. Well, I sure hope he's worth the effort. Everyone's worth the effort. I mean, look at you. You're treading around the States, doing nothing gigs. Going with guys who treated you like shit. Well, I never denied that you're the one who saved me. Made you a star. You made me anyway. That was the only way I could get your attention. One of these days, perhaps, you'll tell me what pushed you into that self-destructive kick. Well, you see, I was badly treated as a child. He's here. 
Well, I'd better play caption and greet him. Hey, Roger, you made it. Welcome aboard. Wouldn't let a fan down. Rod, say hello to uh, Cloudy Martin. Hello, Cloudy. Hello, Rod. Well, don't tell me you two know each other. Not really. Uh, Flint, Captain says he has clearance. Shall I tell him it's okay? Sure, let's go. You've got everything to gain and nothing to lose. Yeah, well, I reckon you've got it the wrong way around. I mean, uh, right now I'm anonymous. Newspapers have forgotten about me. I, mean, I come back to the Saints. I mean, you can imagine the headlines, can't you? You know, aging strikers return. What can the old bugger do? Bullshit like that. What you're telling me is you don't think you can do it. I didn't say that. No, but that's what you mean. I don't agree. Jake Marshall will have you back in action before you know it. Yeah, well, I've had this uh, offer of a job in America. Just haven't made up my mind yet. Come on, Rod, give it a try. We need you for this, Sunday. We really do. You mean I'm all you can get? Well, stick with the Saints. We're going places. Hey, how about another drink before you start training tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, I worked out a deal with Windsor. You're all ours from tomorrow. All I needed was a yes from you. Well, I haven't said yes. Every time we're moving together, I get the same old feeling, yeah. The two people in love with one another, we treat each other like we just don't care. That's not what we came here for. It's still time to love one another, and that's not what we came here for. All we gotta do is love one another. Every time we're moving together Can't help but wonder why When we should be helping one another You make me angry You make me cry That's not what we came here for There's still time to love one another And that's not what we came here for All we gotta do is love one another each other, feel for each other, love one another, baby. Ooh, love, we're old enough, we got love enough. We can talk about it, baby. Just want to see you smile, see you smile a while. <laughs> we can talk about it, baby. It could be so loving, so loving and so easy, baby. We can talk about it. Baby. It can still feel good, it can still feel good, yeah, yeah. We can talk about it, we can talk about it. That's not what we came here for. <laughs> still time to love one another and that's Ooh. not what we came here for. We still got time to love one another, yeah. That's not what we came here for. Still time to love one another and that's not what we came here for. All we gotta do is love one another, love one care another. for each other, feel for each other, love one another. Ooh. That's not what we came here for. We still got time to love. Okay, let's take a break. Whew. That was good. You want a drink? Yeah, champagne. 
You do know him, don't you? I don't know him. We slept together, but it was a long time ago. I was just a little girl, and he was a big star. I really believed that I was the only one in his life. I'm surprised he even remembers me, actually. Why didn't you tell me all this before? What difference would it have made? It could have made a lot of difference. I'm sorry, you're right. I hope today wasn't too uncomfortable for you. I just wish you'd have told me that's all. But you know how I care about you. Yeah, I know, I know. You love me like a brother. You always tell me that. <laughs> well, it's the only kind of love that doesn't go sour, right? If that's the way you want it. But if you ever feel... Clint, that... don't. With our two egos, you know, it wouldn't work. The uh, sooner I have your answer, the better. Will you call me tomorrow? Yeah, I'll try, but I've uh, got a few things to work out, you know. But thanks for the day trip. Reminded me of old times. Yeah, I guess it would. Rod? Hmm? Fine. About Cloudy, uh, she's a very special lady. Means a lot to me. Let's leave the past in the past, okay? Suits me? Suits all of us. It's about the job in America, man. I really want to go, but I do have to know now. Why don't I phone you from the States, say, in a, well, a couple of weeks? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll get you. I'll get you something going. Mm-hmm. Okay, ciao, baby. I did? Yeah, America can wait. I'll see you through the season. That's fantastic, Rod. You've made my day. Jake? You two know each other. Yeah. You better get your ass out of here and start training, hadn't you? That's what I'm here for. Really? I heard you'd given up training. Yeah, well, look, uh, I've got a split. I'll see you both later. Good luck, Rod. Cheers. How about it, Jake? John! Put him to work, will you? Oh, thanks. thanks. Me and the boys. Yeah. Ross? Yeah. Very pleased. It's great we're going to play with you. That's how uh, somebody wants me. Oh, you don't want to take no notice of the boss. He's the right bastard at the yeah. best of times. Yeah. He's a good great manager, with us, Rod. Oh, yeah. Him that. He's a good manager. He's just a right bastard. He'll have you training, and you'll be so knackered at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> you think you just played Arsenal. Yeah. Hey, you know, my dad, he used to take me to see you when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah straight up. He's going to be so pleased you're playing with us now. Oh, today was really good, huh? Well, apart from that arsehole, Jake Marsh, I've been fired on my neck all day. 
I think you must be mad signing up with the Saints. I mean, playing in a semi-final at your age could set a new record. Oh, thank you for the vote of confidence. Aren't you hungry? Hmm. Suddenly, I lost all my appetite. You know, Susan, now I'm into serious training. I'm going to be tied up for the next few weeks, so why don't we just cool it for a while, all right? I get enough aggravation from Marsh. I certainly don't need it from you. That's what you want? It is. I'll call you after the game. Thanks. I can't wait. Getting too much for you, Turner. <laughs> Clint bought the wrong dog. Come on, Turner, harder. Rod, come and have a picture. How are you? Quick stuff. Turner. Turner! When you can spare the time, mate, Excuse back to me. work. I think you can do with all the training you can get, son. You can pick today, it's your choice. Merrick, you're in goal, come here. Come on, don't mess about. You're the best, Rod. Your team's always winning. I haven't even played from yet. One, two, three, four. Can I come see the final at Wembley? Huh? You might not win the semi-final. Sure you will, Rod. You can do anything. Yeah. Stay there. Oi! Ready? So the two teams coming out together then for this FA Cup semi-final. Hamilton United wearing blue shirts and white shorts and the Saints in their lucky colours, the yellow shirts and blue shorts they've worn throughout the competition. The ground is absolutely packed for this match and Saints with Rod Turner playing at centre forward recalled from the soccer wilderness getting all the attention before the kickoff. I wonder what effect Turner will have on this semi-final. <laughs> So, Saints kick off, playing from left to right in the first half. The prize, of course, a place at Wembley, and already it's Saints on the attack with the ball. It's Jimmy Thomas trying to set the attack up down the right-hand side. The ball played into the penalty area. It's Hockey, the defender there for Hamilton, who gets the ball away. But Saints have made a good positive start here. That's Chris Walford out to Eddie Lewis. Eddie Lewis on the right wing trying to make ground. Jimmy Thomas makes a run down the right-hand side, wearing number 10. Thomas pulls the ball. Quiet, quiet. I can't hear the commentary. Still Saints moving smoothly. Butch Jetson involved in that attack. Now it's Thomas. Thomas gets the ball inside. Turner goes in. The ball in the penalty area. It's Thomas again. Thomas the ball. In the chance for Turner. But still it's Saints who have far more of the ball. That's Thomas again on the right wing. The ball is crossed into the penalty area. Completely on top. That's Lewis again to Walford. Can he pull the ball into the centre? He does. Turner is there! It's Turner! Turner has scored! Turner has scored! Great goal, Rod. It's good to have you with us. I'm oh, shattered. They're a bunch of old women. Hey! We're murdering them. Just hold them to a second. Right. 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 Right.
Anyway, what, what about the second goal? Let him speak, come on. You, you made the goal, didn't you, for Rod Turner? Let's have a word with Rod himself, the goal scorer. What about that second goal, Rod? One of your best or what? I went in, didn't it? What about Wembley now, then, for the final, eh? You think you'll win now? How about doing a replay? That's how you threw it. Yeah, OK, the action replay, just a minute. Uh, I've just got to do an interview now with your manager. Jake Marsh is coming in, and... Uh, Clint Simon, the chairman's coming in, I believe. Let's get over here and do the manager and the chairman. Uh, he's coming in any moment now. The manager, Jake Marsh, here he comes with the chairman, Clint Simon. Let's see if we can get a word with them. Jake, a word with you, please. Just uh, have a word with the successful manager, Jake. Where's your chairman? Clint Simon, he's here as well. Yes, a word with you both, please. Jake, Jake, the manager who's taken them to Wembley, how do you feel? Elated, but we've still got another match to go, so then let's get too excited. Now, what about Rod Turner's performance? They're saying it was the Turner of ten years ago. Yeah, well, then let's get carried away with individuals. We had a great team today, and we're looking forward to Wembley. Well done, congratulations. Thank and, of course, who else but Clint Simon now, the club chairman. What a day you must be having. Oh, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. Did it happen? It actually happened. It's fantastic. How did you feel when the score was only 1-0? Well, I was a little worried, but uh, when Rod stuck the other goal in, I thought... Oh, 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 I've seen some scenes in dressing rooms before, particularly after semi-finals, but I've only ever seen the chair and thrown in the buff before, and there's Clint Simon. We can't get another word with him for the moment. He's absolutely drowned there by the champagne. What a happy dressing room this is, because the Saints, having won 2-0, they're through to Wembley. We can just continue our interview now with the Saints chairman, Clint Simon. Clint, could you just come forward and have a few more words with us, please? Let's have a few words with you, chairman. What about this new jacket you bought for the semi-final? Yeah, well, it was always a bit big, so, uh... <laughs> Excuse me, my time's straight. Excuse me. You were telling me before, uh, before we got interrupted there about the second goal. What? You were telling me about the second goal. I thought Rod took it brilliantly. It was a brilliant goal, the most fabulous goal I've ever seen. Yeah. What, 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 what have you celebrations have you got in mind for tonight? Yeah. The players have decided for you. Now it's off to Wembley, isn't it? Wembley! So I'm putting him on suspension. I mean, I think you'll agree, Clint. Even the great Rod Turner can't get away with boozing during a match. Ah, come on, Jake. He scored, didn't he? Oh, look. He, he was handed that goal on a plate. My grandmother could have scored it. Look, is it a personal thing with you and Rod? I'm a football manager. The game comes first for me, but I, I don't like to see talent going to waste at all. I don't want to suspend him, Jake. I built up this team for you. And you hired this man over my objections. Well, if you want him, you have him. But I'll tell you this, Clint. I'm not hanging around here. I don't care how much money you've got. Are you threatening to leave? No, 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 I'm not threatening. I'm telling you. That's either him or me. You really are a mean bastard. OK, Jake, suspend him, then. But one thing, I just hope you keep on winning. Because I've got a mean streak, just like you.
Let's get amongst it. Right, come on, let's get down there. So he says, well, I think I'll answer the third part last. Uh -huh. All right? right. Who scored the goal? <laughs> <laughs> How about a dance today? Oh, it's so crowded. Well, haven't you heard I can make the crowds? I can surely break them. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Clint? Yes, sir. Do you mind? Go right ahead. Come on, okay. my dear. You remember? Yeah. I have a terrible memory for faces. <laughs> you don't give her one, you know. I'll go back to junior school, Sonny. <laughs> Let's dance. Hmm? Junior school, Yeah. Junior school. Let's dance. All right. <laughs> Take care of this young boy. Where's go? Like dry clean. Huh? That's too bad in the way, one, isn't it? Boom, boom. All right. All right. Yes. Now she has some moves. Hey! hey. China! <laughs> Off the team. <laughs> I'm not a messenger. Tell him yourself. <laughs> You're such a clever girl. You're smart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you take that. Oh, 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 you think you're pushing? Don't push the lady. Oh, it's all smart. Can't say that for the boys. I'm not one of them. Yet. Yeah, you can say that oh, again. Stop. 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 Get him out of here. Stop. Stop. Yeah, got Get him out. Stop. 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 Sorry. Let's continue the dance, shall we? Do you know what, Jake? I am so smart, I'm just gonna pass on the whole thing. I just don't like you very much. Two feet. It's two Yeah, all right. We're out with any. Go back and punch the shit out. No, 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 Excuse me, uh, listen, why don't you put Rod in my car and I'll take him home, okay? Come on, come on. I put a bathrobe on the door for you. Yeah. Well, you look all nice and clean. Nice place. Thank you. Do you feel better? I feel like a drink. Want some coffee? And a large scotch? Hmm? Oh, no. No scotch. After 10 years, I want you sober. At least reasonably so, anyway. What is it? Well, let's call it a reunion. You'd even remember it all. Well, you ran off. I ran off? Are you kidding? 
I ran off? I came back from South America and your girlfriend said you'd go back to the States. I mean, no message, nothing. Oh, I think you're a little mixed up, Rod. I was the one who was supposed to go to South America with you, remember? Hmm? Except you never showed up. You never called. I called? You did. Well, that's true. That's true. You did call. That's right. It was six months later that yeah. you did call. <laughs> well, I mean, that's stupid. Yes. You knew me then. I mean, that... I just... Well, you were different. You were always different. Is that what you want? What about Clint? We're friends. I love Clint, I really do. <laughs> Jake Marsh. You're no fool. If it wasn't for the booze, I wouldn't have been dragging yesterday. You mean the drinking keeps you from playing? It did. I guess I just needed a reason to uh, get myself together. Oh, well, don't depend on me. I've got a life of my own now, a career. So don't look to me for your support, okay? I mean it. Come on. I mean it. I mean it. <laughs> Oh, dear, bad timing, huh? I spent a sleepless night thinking of you being in hospital on a car crash, I can see. I'm yes, in. Susan, this is Cloudy Martin, a very old friend of mine. This is Susan. Yes, yes, I know. I, I've seen the photo amongst all the others. Now, look, Jake Marsh and I were going to a fight, and Cloudy was kind enough to drive. I mean, I, I don't have to explain this to you, you know. I mean, we I didn't have a date, did we? a whole night waiting for you. You promised you would phone me after the match. I haven't seen you all week. Look. I think I'll sit this one out, OK? Well, you don't have to. Yeah, I know, I know. I just have a horrible feeling. I know just how she feels. Could I have the keys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. I think it's about time you gave me my key back, Susan. Certainly. I don't want it anymore. I thought I could help you, but you're finished. You're really finished. Just uh, give me the key back. You're pathetic, you know that? Nobody takes you seriously. They just all feel sorry for you. Thank you, Susan. A man like you should have retired gracefully years ago. You know, that's one thing I never was, graceful, you know? Goodbye, Susan. You're disgusting. Good game. Good game. Good game. Yes. Well, your boy played well, but he's no Dixie Dean. That's what I said. Oh, <laughs> going back a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was lucky I could have scored that goal with my stick. Oh, oh dear. Yes, that was for five, wasn't it? Mm. One. Hmm. The object is for the white wall 
stick the blue ball without hitting the red balls. Lisa, a scotch and I'll have oranges, please. Can I tempt you to a scotch? Compliments of the house. No, you always tempt me when I'm on orange juice. We'll just have to wait for the champagne after the final, then, won't we? I respect for that. Well, the governor, of course. Who do you think? Oh, and by the way, if you want anything on the slate, it's OK. Oh. Thank you very much. What, um... What did you think of the game yesterday? Hmm? Oh, I was impressed. Yeah, you did yourself proud. I didn't. I played better than I have been doing, but that's not saying much, is it? I can't think of really fit for the final. No, you can do it, if you want to. Oh, I might surprise you all. Is Marsh giving you a hard time? Well, I can take it, but he did catch me at half time yesterday, taking a slug and threatened to suspend me. <laughs> I thought you said you'd given up the booze. Oh, it's today. Yeah. Today. Oh, have you got those tickets yet? Yeah, I will have. You, Dad, and Merrick. That'll be a treat for the kid. Yeah, sure. Never seen him again. Which reminds me. We'll make a phone call, man. Cloudy, this this is Rod. Look, look, I, can't, I don't want to talk in the machines, right? Why don't you call me back and, and let me know what's going on, okay? Right. This is Cloudy Martin. Not, well, then I'm not home now. right now. Master level. There'll be a meeting to discuss the strike tomorrow morning. On the sports front, the Saints' recent acquisition, Rod Turner, has been put on suspension by the club for an indefinite period. Manager Jake Marsh commented today. Rod Turner should retire from football. He's out of training and over the hill. Well, strong stuff. Saints bid to the top, and now let's see what the weather's like. With Where were you yesterday? I was home. I called you a couple of times and got the machine. Go, I just didn't feel like talking. Now, how come you ran out of the party so fast on Saturday? <sighs> Clint, what is this, the third degree? I got tired, I went home, all right. I thought that was all over a long time ago. You know, I don't think it's any of your business. I just want to save you any hassles, that's all. If I want help, I'll ask you, all right? By the way, how come Rod's been suspended? It's not up to me. Jake calls the shots. I can't stand him. He's a very good manager. He's a creep. Mr. Rod Turner is here. He insists on seeing you. Okay, Linda, I'll ask you to send him in. Okay, Linda, send him in. What's all this suspension shit? It's your own fault, Rod. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, my fault. I played, didn't I? I scored. You scored. But according to Jake, he caught you boosting at half time. Now, you know as well as I do, he can't let you get away. Now, look, you're the one that brought me over here to play. You made a great speech about how wonderful everything was going to be. I told you I had a great job lined up in America, but you were very persuasive. So I agreed to come and play here, even though I knew there'd be trouble with Marsh. Look, I'm very delighted that you came. Oh, glad you're see. delighted. You might as well how I feel. I mean, with Marsh on my back the whole time, pricking me, pushing me, prodding me, newspapers needling me, and now there's suspension. Listen, you got me into this. Now, I want to play in that final. It is my fault. But I'll apologize to Marsh if it'll help. I'll talk to Jake, Rod. I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything. You must understand that, but uh, I'll do what I can. Yes, 
guess it would be nice to think the saints aren't just another expensive toy. Are you going to put him back on the team? What do you care if he plays or not? I didn't say that I cared. I just would like you to fix it. Please. This is Cloudy Martin. So, uh, yes. Yeah, Thank you. Do you have a with Clint about getting rid of Rod? Jake, I can't seem to get through to your brain. I am not a direct line to Clint. And even if I was, you are the last person that I would deliver messages for. Oh, sorry, I just thought that you were. I don't care what you thought. Why don't you just leave Rod alone? You got him suspended. Isn't that good enough for you? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go home, okay? Okay, babe, what's the hurry? I'm uh, just not in the mood for company. All right, <clears throat> I'll come with you. Uh, any company. I never say I don't get the message. Another cup of but coffee, forget this? it. What is this game? What, hmm? uh, what game? That's Listen, what? what is it with you? What? I've had a few drinks, all right? Yeah, well, I thought you were going to quit. I can quit any time I want oh. to, but right now I want you, all right? Oh, I don't want you. Look, I want you. Listen, and I want to tell you something. What? This could have worked out a few years oh, ago. No, 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 yes, no. you didn't now. want it to happen then, now. and I don't want it to happen now. Now I'm ready for it. Now I can handle it. I don't believe it. You can't even handle your own life. Now, let's just say goodbye nicely and let it all be over I with. I don't want yes. to. I don't want to. I do. Cloudy? <laughs> Rod? Hello, Dad. Will you? Got a private. What's going on, son? Papers say you've been suspended. You're up for the final, won't it? Cheers, Sam. Thanks, Rita. Thanks, Roger. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. What's the news? Sam. Is he going to be playing then? Yeah. Yep. John, he'll never get to the final. I told you he was too old tonight. Why don't you leave him alone? You've got to be played. You'll see. You'll all see. Yeah, he'll get to Wembley, all right. Cleaning the shit house. Hey, Rod. One eighty. Under my credit. You know the boss. Changeables. Thank you, Sorry. Good afternoon, sister. Where's Mary? He's not feeling too well. What's the matter with him? He didn't want to come, Rod. He says you've been telling him stories. Huh? Take no notice, Mr. Turner. Maddox's a little upset. I think he's disappointed that you're on suspension. Can I see him? Well, I think it's better we should just leave him alone. He was looking forward to your playing in the final. I will be playing in the final. And I've got a ticket for him. Tell him I won't let him down, OK? If you're sure, Mr. Turner. Oh, I'm bloody sure. Mr. Turner. Oh, I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry. Tell him it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Come on! <laughs>
mate. You're an early bird. Yeah. Did you uh, leave those extra yogurts? Yeah, I left them. Give us an extra five, then. Yeah, here you go. Tom. Yeah, best of luck with the Saints, eh? Yeah, uh, cheers, Tom. Right, our Harry, let's go. What are you doing here? Back in training, isn't it? Oh, that's great, mate. I was beginning to think we'd seen the last of you around these parts. No, I wouldn't give him the pleasure. <laughs> right on. Marsh. Well, look who we've got here, then. Fully paid up member of the geriatrics club. Your presence isn't required around here, Turner. You're still on suspension, you know. Well, we old folks got to try to keep up with the younger generation, sir. Try to keep in shape, you know. Hello, Stockholm! I get the same old feeling, yeah. For two people in love with one another, we treat each other like we just don't care. That's not what we came here for. Still time to love one another, and that's not what we came here for. All we gotta do is love one another. Every time we Just want to see you smile, see you smile a while. We can talk about it, baby. It could be so loving, so loving and so easy, babe. We can talk about it, baby. It can still feel good, it can still feel good, yeah. Yeah. We can talk about it, we can talk about it, we can talk about it. We can talk about it.
All right, let's just call it a day. Hello? Jake, I hear he's ready. I want him off suspension. Yeah, he's in good shape, but he's not good enough. Look, just put him in as a sub, OK? You're making a mistake. So it's my mistake, and I'm making it. I wet. 17 cities in four weeks is too much, Clint. I guess now is not the time to mention Japan. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just had a call from uh, Jake Marsh. He's putting Rod in as a sub for the final. something myself these last few weeks, which is more important than 90 minutes of glory. Now, the latest on the cup final build-up. The Saints, Clint Simon's amazing giant killers, will be pitting their considerable skills against First Division Leicester Forest, and it promises to be quite some final. Ginger Jetson, 25-year-old star striker, is in top form and has so far scored 17 goals in their incredible path to the top. Will Rod Turner, former star striker, be allowed to play? Manager Jake Marsh is not saying. Hello. Hi. Hello, Cloudy. What do you want? Um, listen, uh, why don't I come over? I, I 
think maybe we should talk. Uh, Clarity, what do you want from me? If you wanted to get your own back, you did. Okay, now we're even getting dumped twice. I don't need. Ron, I'm leaving for Los Angeles Saturday after the game. I don't I think that I'll be coming back. I just wanted to say goodbye. So sad. Okay. That's the way you want it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Clarence. I'm over the moon about it. <laughs> so, Clinton Cloudy, how do you feel about uh, having a number one hit together? Hello, Tom. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, this is the first time that you've had a number one in England with a single. Yeah, that's right. Was that all you've got to say about it? That's right. Well, no, I mean, if you want to talk about football, we'll talk about it all day. I don't care. Can I just ask you something? Sure, sure. Is it true that you and Clinton have got plans to make it more than just a uh, record relationship? The only plans that we've got are to win the cup. Shorts. That was uh, Butch Jetson trying to get down the line, but he was beaten by left back. Hey, 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 hey. 
given them a mountain now to climb. It's a useful cross. Not really clear. Thomas with the shot. Now look, we're a goal down and you're feeling sick. You played bloody well the first half. We're going to win this match. Believe me, we're going to win this match, all right? Now come on. It's been a long, hard road getting here. Now get out there and enjoy it. Relax. Look, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to walk out of this dressing room. Walk up that tunnel. Walk onto the pitch with your heads held up high. And when he blows that whistle, start running. I want you to run. And I don't want you to stop running until you run back in here with that cup. Teams come out in the second half of the final. The question that's being asked by many of the Saints supporters, and certainly we're asking it here in the commentary box, is whether or not Rod Turner might come on as substitute in the second half. Jake Marsh has that option. He's got him on the bench. Turner scored in the semi-final. And the fans again giving the players a marvellous 
deception as they come out for the second half and Saints playing now from the right get the match going again now in the attack, Paul with some hard tackling in this match, Branston caught one there, right on the shin bone, free kick taken quickly by Parker, Green is in there, there's Green, number seven, can he pull it back, one save by the keeper, gives, oh, it's like his own player in the chest, and then Green shot wide, to Tony Keyes, and rightly so in my view, it was a terrible tackle. Come over to the left and you push well up, right? Go on and go. There's going to have to be a substitution. I told you some judge is nice. He has. He's come on a substitute for the Saints, who are 2-1 down with eight minutes to go. Turner, wearing number 12, but looking very assured when he came on. The time now is over the 90 minutes. We're in injury time as Rod Turner places the ball for a penalty. What a tense moment this is. Easy, Turner, son. Cool Come on, Rod. I can't watch.
Work it out, work it out, work it out, people, work it out, work it out. 